Hey guys, every, how's everyone doing out there? Phil Montalioni, the book peddler, coming to you with another YouTube video. If you haven't, I hope you like and subscribe to my channel, The Book Peddler. You stay up to date on awesome book picks like this one behind me. I'm about to get to and in store, out store activity. I've been seeing an uptick in in uh, in people watching the videos and subscribing, so I really appreciate that. And this was a big estate sale by beautiful early material, local material, historical stuff, uh, fishing books, uh, firearm books. It, it was a great buy, one of the best of, of the of the year for me. And um, boy, it, it was crazy because uh, I had to be up at 4:30 to get a move on. And of course, my nerves are always like I get so excited because this is this is like Christmas, you know. I said before, and my mom was going with me. And since I never can sleep, I went down to the uh, Tin Angel down the street and uh, like an hour turned in four hours and uh, I didn't get much sleep and I'm burnt out. It's like 11 o'clock right now. So I'm going to do the best I can. I'm, I'm on a time limit here for the camera. Um, so let me give my shout outs quick to, to the new subscribers. I got you here. Uh, run down the names. Uh, Lucian Roska, Mark Corbett. Graylin Till, Aurelio Medina, Carol Quincy, C.J. Penning, Troy Lee, Strum, Elmer Montgomery. Thank you all for your subscription. I appreciate the support, and I hope you uh, enjoy the channel, the content, find some value in it. Check out past videos. Um, you know, whatever. It's it's a it's a cool channel. I'm trying to build it and keep growing. Um, so shout out real quick to Lugga Loke, my boy hooked me up with this hat. Him and his wife Kim run a uh, contracting local contracting business. They do great work. Hooked me up with a hat and some shirts. And uh, shout out to my boy Highlander, man, my brother. Thank you, always promoting my business. I really appreciate the support. And my other brother Filippo, thank you, man, for all your support, man. Come by, let's do lunch. Um, okay, let's get to the books. First book I'm going to show, Micah and his wife, um, Brittany, were interested in this one, so I'm going to give them a quick overview on it, and then I'm going to get into the whole mess of this other material. So let me flip the camera, and here we go, Birds of the World by Oliver J. Austin. It's a beautiful book, guys, um, but it does have its issues There's um, to the jacket in particular. A lot of edge wear, okay? Fairly clean, but there is some toning to the cover here that the camera's not picking up. Back, very tattered. The boards are are um, are uh, uh, fair, fairly clean for the for the most part. I'll take you inside. There's beautiful color in here. Um, there's like full pages with with birds, and it's it's a nice book for what it is. Um, and if you guys would like it, uh, come. Come and check it out. Let me get you some more. Pages are clean and still held very well. Um, I, I guess we'll do 10 bucks on it if you're interested. You get a feel for it. Just giving you a feel for it. So there's that, guys. And I'm going to set this aside for you. I'll put it here for now. Let's get into the other books. Um, there were some real beautiful gems here. Atlantic Salmon Fishing. This is a Derrydale Press. And it's 1937. I have Derrydale Press up there. A lot of wrapped ones. But this one was limited to like 900 and something um, printings. Let me get to the title page. Very difficult doing this with one arm. And I have some big books to show. So hopefully I can get through it without making a mess. But um, there's beautiful color like that. And um, I'll show you the, the uh, back of the title page here. Very desirable uh, book. There you go. What was great is there was literally no competition at this. Mom's funny. She was in the door. Regular edition. 950 copies. Shout out to my mom for driving. Helped me out big time. She kept everybody that passed. She said that uh, she could knock them out. I loved it. <laughs> so thanks mom if you're watching this. You rugged son of a gun. Ruger and his guns. R.L. Wilson. I have had wilson beautiful leather edition limited to a thousand copies he signed it this is 405 of a thousand and with that being said i'm going to run you through the titles of the gun books here winchester handbook sold that that's one of a thousand 
Colt Single Action, the Rifles in America, Winchester. I love getting uh, uh, game cookbooks. They do very well. Knife books are great. Reloading books are great. So hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea. Okay, let's take you here. History of the United States by Spencer. Three volume set. I believe there's four to be complete, but it, 1880s. Stone, Stonewall Jackson, a two volume in the slip box. Beautiful. Uh, the West Point Atlas of America Wars. Two volume set in its box. State of New York, Forest Fishing Game. No brainer. I'm in New York. I scooped this up. This is going to be sold in a blink of an eye. I hope so, huh? Okay. Biographical review. Schoharie, Schenectady, in Green Counties. Beautiful book. None on the market as far as I can tell. So that'll be desirable to the to the right person, of course. Um, these are two large French books, and they are gorgeous. And I'm going to try as carefully as possible um, to just show you the title page. They're illustrated. And these books, I mean, obviously just had to have them. Awesome, awesome books. I wish I read French. Look at these tipped in large plates. Um, my gosh, what a set. Look at these. Now, if you see anything you like, guys, reach out directly. We'll do business directly, okay? Um, here's some Civil War books. I've sold this two-volume set in the past for a couple hundred bucks. This has its issues, this individual volume. But uh, another uh, popular author here is Bruce Catton. I sell his books a lot. And under there are more Civil War. Let's see here. This is The Life of Washington. Title page. Thank you. There we go. Beautiful antiquarian book. Ox Carts Along the Shenango. Solid local history book. Wonderful. Nice leathered hymnal book of Methodism. Methodist hymnal. Had to get it. Then, of course, look, the Foxfires. I tell everyone, scoop them up. I sell them 10 bucks a pop without question. They move. This is the right material for my shop at the right price. Here's a reprint of an atlas of Otsego County, New York. Uh, very nice. Limited. I believe they put these out in the 70s. So, as you can see, I got a real nice smattering of material. Um, I also got this uh, powder horn which is really cool. Now, I had a powder horn um, once, very ornate, large like this, but I thought this was Civil War, but I was wrong. I made a mistake. When the eagle is turned, I think, to the, to the, the way he's turned here, during the Civil War, the eagle was turned the other way, which would be left, I believe. And so I believe this is after the Civil War, but it has the Masonic insignia here. Well, I sold that powder horn for $400. So I paid up for this one a bit, but I'm hoping to be able to make a nice return on this. Um, now, it was a book that I saved from the ashes, okay? This is going to go in the trash. It's tattered and beat to heck. It's this huge book here. It was published in Germany, and I have to do some research on it. It's so busted up, but I just could not let this, let this go in the garbage which is where it was destined. And I'm going to show you why. Look at these huge engravings. It, it's, I mean, it'd be a sin to, to have it trashed. Um, let me see if I can. They're all protected by tissue paper. The condition varies uh, throughout it. But look at this. Ain't that something? I wish I could give more in-depth views on some of these books, but... Unfortunately, with one hand, the one one arm bandit here, I, I can only do so much. But you get the idea. So, beautiful. I, I don't know exactly how I'll sell this or what I'll do with it. But, um, I, I you know, I had to scoop it up. And I'll just give you the title of the French books here. Let me set this down for a minute. I'll give you the, the, the spines of the French books. Let me see if I can lift it slightly just so that you see right there so really really um wonderful stuff i also have some native american books over here that i'll show you the covers of um 
the Mohawk Indians in their valley. This is a rare publication. So that's a nice book. The Book of the American Indian. Very nicely illustrated by Frederick Remington. Um, American Indians Portrait Gallery. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And uh, I was very happy with this pick. It all went well. It's one of the better picks of the year for me. So um, anyhow, I think that's about all I got. I hope you guys got a solid view on it. Back to myself. So anyhow, guys, my eyes are bloodshot. <laughs> I need to get a little bit of sleep here um, and then start uh, pushing this material up on my seller site. But I hope you all enjoyed it. If you see something again, give me a shout out. And thank you for subscribing and helping me grow my channel. It means a lot to me. And um, with that being said, I think that's it. So take care, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for the next one. We'll see you. Have a good night. Buona notte.